This video is sponsored by One Football. One Football's app lets you keep up to date with all the scores, news, and stats in football. So download it in the link in the description below, and uh, let us know what you think of it, how you find it, and uh, enjoy it. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Nicky Hawkins, outside the London State, West Ham Fat TV. I'm here ahead of the game at the weekend with Arsenal, with obviously Mr. Arsenal himself, Robbie Lyle. Rob, how you doing, mate? I'm good. I'm freezing, man. It's bloody cold it's, out here. It's cold here, isn't it? It's nice open yeah, area. Uh, thought I'd come and take a look at our investment. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> our stadium that uh, we pay for. You know, it, won't, it won't be there for long. It won't be yours for long, man. I promise. I like that. I didn't see that last time. That sort of um, the digital, the digital. That looks that looks impressive, man. Yeah, that looks really good. As I said, it was meant to go all the way around the stadium, but they fucked that up as well. So, um, <laughs> Rob, uh, head of the game against Arsenal. What do you yeah. reckon uh, the weekend? Um, listen, we're both in in different form, really, aren't we? Yeah, you know what? I mean, us, we we was on that great run, and then you know we lost. And it's, it's sort of coincided with like injuries in our defence, you know, and we, you know, Rob Olding, it's been a massive miss. Even Mustafi was playing well, he got injured. Um, then Socrates got injured, then Bellerin got injured. And basically we've been putting Monreal. So basically we've been playing a real makeshift defence for like the past four or five weeks. And it's really shown, you know what I mean? So it's like being watching the old Arsenal, you know, we've looked really, really leaky. I mean, we, even with everybody in, we were still not, for me, tight enough at the back, yeah. but we were doing all right at the back. But I'm, I'm, you know, on my way over, I was just looking to, and he was saying that, you know, there's a lot of players back in full training. Bellerin's back in, Monreal's back in, Mustafi's back in full training. So that's a positive because I think, you know, Bellerin and guys that we've really, really missed them. And um, going forward, we score a lot of goals. We, we look good going forward, but it's the age-old problem with Arsenal that at the back, we are so easy to score against. Will any so, of them guys that are, that are back in full training be back this weekend? It's hard to know at the moment, but I, I sense that maybe a Bellerin and Monreal, they could be back. Kolasinac, I think, is back in training. He, he only had a minor injury as well, so I'd expect him to be back. But he ain't been defending great. Good going forward, but he's defensively ain't been great. Um, but... I think that we could see a couple of them come back because I reckon that like somebody like Bellerin, I get the feeling he was close, but they rested him over the Christmas period, knowing that obviously coming into January, we can get him back in and he'll be important, especially, you know, you guys going forward. I mean, that Felipe Anderson, what I've seen of him, even when he came down our place, and I remember you saying to me at the time that he'd had a slow start, but he looks quality. I, I really, really impressed with him. He's really settled in well. I yeah. mean, we're in a similar boat, really, because defensively, injuries have got the better of us. Defensively, we can be a bit at sixes and sevens. We're hoping to see Balbuena back this weekend. Mm. But as I said, going forward, we've got the players to hurt people. And yeah. even at that game at the Emirates early on, when we had that yeah. awful start, I thought we, we was good enough that day to get something out of that game. So this could be a good one. Yeah, to be fair, I felt, uh, I, I think I said that to you on the day, that you're a bit unlucky not to get anything out. I think you deserve to draw out of that game, if I was being honest. So I was really impressed with the way you played on that day. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a touch and go game. It really is. You know what I mean? Because, uh, as I said, because of our defending has been so poor, um, you really don't know what we, we're going to do. And there's a lot of pressure on us as well. First game of the weekend. And we really need to win that game. I mean, we've got Man United breathing down our neck now. We're in fifth place. They're breathing down our neck. But if we could win that game with Tottenham playing Man United on the Sunday, you know, we can start putting some pressure on Chelsea. We've got next week after um, your game, you know, we could really, really start putting some pressure on them. So I think it's an important game for us to win. We really need to win the game. So it's going to be, I think it's going to be a really interesting game. Really, I, I'm going to be, but I'm, I'm not really been that bold on, on this channel for a long time, but I think we're going to beat you. Ooh, you've been bold. You know what? I don't know what to make of West Ham either, because the one minute I see like when you played against Southampton, you were brilliant. You know what I mean? Although there was times in that game with Southampton were all over you, they, they didn't really take their chances. I think with us, you give us chances, you'll take we'll them. take them. We've got, you know. And I saw that game, what was it, uh, Brighton, the other day, and you're 2-0 down and things like that. So I don't know what to make of West Ham. You know what I mean? You just don't know what West sort of West Ham going to turn up. So I don't know. I've, you being bold. I think you're being a bit brave there. You know, no, I am being brave. We, we've got players that can hurt you. Uh, before we, we let you go, Rob, um, obviously you could see a former player come here um, and play against you at the weekend. Sami Nasri, of course, could be uh, 
could be in a starting lineup for us. So, well, he can be prepared you for. Do your lot. boxing? <laughs> yeah, I should do my boxing. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, he would be prepared for a lot of stick from Arsenal fans because, you know, that's one player that when he left, he's not been forgiven at all by Arsenal fans. And, um, you know, I can, I can hear a lot of drug jokes coming on yeah, yeah, yeah. in that game, you know what I mean? Um, it's not a bad signing for you. Like, I don't know. I don't, what sort of shape's in? What, it, decent. He looks yeah. in, in decent shape. He's got to get a bit sharper. But what sort of player are we going to get, uh, Robbie? Well, hopefully he's crap, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, um, but what you remember of him? Anyway. Remember of him when he was at Arsenal, he was very good. Very skillful, um, determined player. Um, he was good, very good. I don't know. I think he's past his best now, though. Yeah, I mean, even when he, even when he was at City, you see the thing with Nasri, he, he used to be this type of player. That like one week, brilliant. brilliant. Then the next week starts. You know, what I mean, he, 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 but he did have a spell at Arsenal for about. I think this is why fans were so annoyed with him because he had a spell where he was really, really playing well, and then Van Persie left, then he left, and then I think that that pissed fans off. Yeah, and he went purely for the money to Man City. You know, um, so. I don't know, it's, it's a hard one. I, as I said, you don't know what sort of shape he's in, but if he gets up to speed, he'll have a good player. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Rob, for joining us. Anyway, good luck Cheers, for the mate. weekend. I don't you know, mean it. but you, know you don't mean it. No, I don't mean it, but uh, we'll be over on your channel soon. So go sure. subscribe to Arsenal <laughs> Fair TV if you, if you haven't um, to see me over there. Cheers, mate. Cheers.